Hi, it's Dougie Wood, and in this episode of our Microsoft Teams training tips, we're going to be talking about the shortcuts that you can use to jump into functionality that you might not even knew existed inside of Microsoft Teams. So shortcuts are essentially ways of jumping into functionality. Now, once you're inside of Microsoft Teams, anywhere in Teams, you'll have this search bar across the top. When you click into that, you'll be able to put a forward slash into the search box and that will then show you all the different types of shortcuts that you can use to tap into certain functionality. So say for example you've got this activity where you can see someone's current activity, uh, available which will set your current status to available and that works the same for away, be your at back or busy. So if I ch change this to busy this will now change me up here to the busy status whereas actually if I was to use the available again you'll then see it automatically change me back to available so it's a good way of just quickly changing your status you can open up uh, a call directly with someone or send someone directly a chat message uh, this will put you into do not disturb in the same way uh, that we look at before changing our status we can see recent files we've been working with and we can search uh, to find a particular page of content we can go directly to a team or channel which can be really useful if you've got a lot of different teams and channels um, so rather than filtering through them you can use it to search to go directly to a certain area we've got help which will give us useful guides join into join into an actual microsoft team uh, keys to see keyboard shortcuts as well as mentions to see basically everywhere that you've been mentioned inside of something previously and then you can jump between those different areas that someone may have tagged you in We've also got offline, so it will set your status to appear offline. The next one's a really interesting one, which is the org. Now, this is basically going to jump us into an org chart. Um, so if I select this and then type in someone's name, so say, for example, I'm interested in seeing George's org chart, I select on him, and I'd actually then see who he reports into, so he reports into me, and who uh, actually reports directly into them. Actually, then if you click on that person, it will then show you who reports into them as well. So it shows you um, an org chart structure as you move between those different um, colleagues. Other things we've got as well. Um, so we can also pop out conversations. So if I was to select on pop and then I select, for example, Chris, um, this is then directly going to open up a, a new chat ex uh, external and outside of my other Teams app windows. So I can actually have my individual chats going on with colleagues. If I say sort of, hi, how are you? Uh, I can have those conversations directly outside of uh, my overall kind of Teams chat uh, and sort of conversations. All things we can do. Um, so we can also jump directly to our saved messages. So previously, uh, an, uh, a past video, we looked at actually how do we save um, messages. So let's say, for example, this project update. If I click on the three dots and click on save this message, it'll add it to my saved messages list. Now I can get to the saved messages list quickly by forward, typing in forward slash and then save. Click on enter and that would then jump me into a list of all the previously saved messages and I can just jump between them using this uh, navigation on the left hand side. Um, we've also got test calls so we can make a test call out to make sure everything's working okay. We can go to unread messages so we can see everything which is uh, unread. And we've also got this what's new which is a great way of seeing um, new features which are coming out into Microsoft Teams. And the final thing we've got this who uh, which is actually a little app which when the first time you use it it will ask you just to click add and accept and, and go through the typical things that a lot of apps will want you to do before you start using them. But once you have actually added this which is a literally a 20 second process you can then ask sort of questions so you could say who is George Whale that's then going to jump me into uh, this sort of who uh, sort of uh, questions once you click on allow because it needs permissions just to search on your behalf it will then bring back and you can say okay well maybe um, who, who is their manager so you can click on the manager and then it'll show you who their manager is their contact information that sort of thing um, works with and it'll then show you basically everybody that they work with so you can jump into this um, and see exactly who somebody is um, their contact information who they work with who reports into them and it's essentially a chat bot uh, which is giving you kind of like um, multiple different things and org charts is just one of those things that you could possibly ask it by clicking into the chat box you can see other things that you could possibly do so you could say who is and find somebody who knows about something which is leveraging the kind of experts and topics um, but there's all sorts of different questions you could ask this chat bot i hope you found those uh, shortcut tips are really useful if you did please do like this video and subscribe for more microsoft teams training tips